This is what a drenched little Mustang looks like. I don't know why she didn't go in the stall. You obviously haven't been in the stall very much. You either. Boop. Yeah, um. You guys. You have three stalls that you can go into. as I can get a blankie just to warm him up. It's absolutely ginormous and there's cats fighting somewhere, but it kind of sits on them. If we could bring those up, it wouldn't be too bad, but they are as far as I can take them. But yeah, I'm not shivering anymore. I found a hood for this. There's actually the one that goes with it. So, yeah. Chester has the whole get up. Try to get up, up to his ear. So a little bit big, but the hood makes it kind of pulls it up a little bit better. It's still big. <laughs> Poor guy. take him down to one of the other pens so that he's by himself and so that these guys have this stall and he's not trying to break out of it. So yeah. You good? Stop that stuff. And he's being really good about having a blanket on. He hasn't had any sort of blanket on in like two years. And even then, it was just a sheet. It wasn't like such a big blanket like he has on now. So, and he didn't have a hood. He did have like a slinky down with that. Got some water. Good boy. You're okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. I haven't been out this way in a long time. He's still kind of being goofy about everything, which is weird for him. But. Mm. 
You're <laughs> okay. horses are running this way which is freaking him out a little bit. Just shut this gate so we don't have any runaways. Alright. Back here bud. You can see how far our arena is. This entire alleyway is for the team. All flooded, and that's flooded too. Let's see if I can find something that this shed will at least be dry. I don't really want him seeing anymore. He'll be able to see his friends over here, and I'm gonna watch him for a little while, make sure he doesn't try to jump a fence or something. This time looks like it's not too bad. Come on, buddy. Hmm. Our water tanks are working again. Those others won't have any dry spots. Here you go, bud. I'll get him some fresh hay put in here. But yeah. You're alright, buddy. You're okay. Let's go find your friends. Your friends are just right there. You can see them. It is sleeting again. And he does not want to go in the shed. So, yeah. Come on, buddy. Come on in. Let's see him here. Chester. There's water there. Let's see him here. It's raining slash sleeting slash grappling again. Right now it's more rain. A second ago it was more like sleet and grapple. But I'm trying to keep him in here so I'm staying in here with him. Otherwise he won't stay in here if I'm not in here. So he won't stay in the dry very much. As well, he has enough room that he can stay in the dry. Huh, buddy? But he's staying pretty warm underneath and he's dry. all but dry. So I hope he's fine. Yeah, that's nice and warm in His belly's warm too. You can put your hand like kind of between their thigh and their belly. And yes, yeah, that's warm and he's warmed up quite a bit. He's like, oh, there we go. And he has electrolytes, warm electrolytes in there. 
Oh, they're somewhat warm. I got him them warm earlier, so they're probably cold off right now, but yeah. You can see his buddies over there. So yeah. He has water. Oh obviously there's water everywhere. If you were really thirsty he'd have water, but we have fresh clean water for him. So and it's automatic. Our automatic water started working again, so he just has to charge still some water to get there. But dude, don't drink that. Drink the good water. There you go. But yeah. Night night, buddy. Yeah, that's the good taste and stuff. Good night. Behave. Don't hurt yourself and don't tear that up. That's a nice blanket. This specific video clip is from day six, but I'm editing videos right now and I did not get any video of my session with these three hickories over there taking a nap in that same stall you can see his tether right there. But anyway, um, I did not get video of any of my session with them. We just worked on um, grooming and picking up feet and staying tied. So, I mean, we didn't do a whole lot, but we did our 20 minutes that we needed to get. So, and Coda, we worked on more just stretching out and um, worked on her back feet a little bit too because she was kind of getting locked up when I was asking her to pick up her pine feet. So we worked on that. So, yeah.